your waist begins with a two, eat. So now that we're doing banded deadlifts, are we gonna go vegan? This is fun. <laughs> so who's the new uh, sponsor, dude? Bad boy, baby. Jeez. Their stuff is unreal. We're really excited to be on this team. Uh, we are now with Bad Boy MMA. So, obviously we're not MMA athletes. We have done a lot of boxing and jiu-jitsu in our histories. And we really like their materials and their athletic garments fit incredibly. This is just my half of the stuff. Uh, I have more stuff than this even. And then Kyle has his. They hooked us up proper. We got a compression shirt. These are their board shorts. This is another compression shirt. I got these sick logo shirts. Another sick logo shirt. They hooked us up. We got 18 pounds of clothing. And their stuff is just, it fits so nice, so comfy. We got a code soon, we'll get it out to y'all. So to start, doing banded deadlifts for a max effort. We switched our programming intensely, which I'll go into later in this video. I'll actually show you guys some of what we're doing. I haven't even taken my pre yet, bro. Alright, crank this. Fire it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's too whippy, dude. It doesn't. Oh. Uh, see? Even with the. Oh wow, take that in, show them. So, Texas bars are very expensive. They bend like this, and even though we have it out, because of the width, they're almost touching. Look Takes at that. Three inches out of slack on your pull. This time around, I'm not only trying to improve the amount of weight I'm lifting on my deadlift, but I'm actually trying to work on my form. Um, so I'm trying to utilize my leg drive a lot within the deadlift, focus on less backgrounding, and try to friggin' drive that weight off the ground. This is gonna help Kyle with the hitching dilemma he had. He's gonna get unbelievable lockout strength. Because we're idiots, we were taking the bands off every time, change the weight. But if you guys have never done this, like us, you can just put it there, change the weight, hitch it, whatever you want. Smooth, let's go lock out. They're getting faster and faster, you plebe. Good job. 
All right, so now we're just backing off. We're deloading off of the weight. We're gonna hit five sets of three, about 80%, which for me is 445 plus bands. <laughs> Sean gave me two or three really good tips rather. If you guys notice I lift my head too much when I deadlift, I made a bad habit early and here I kind of fixed the problem. So the first tip he told me was to pack my lats and keep my neck tight. So as you guys can see here, I'm packing down, driving my neck back and then pulling the slack out of the bar before I actually do my lift. This keeps me very tight and makes me feel very strong. Next was my head movement and my path of vision. So here if I focus my path of vision on one area and I keep my head positioned, it's better. There you can see my bad form. This is awkward, this is uncomfortable, I'm straining my neck and it's unnecessary. Now when I do it with the packing and I keep it in good form, a very clean rep at that. As you can guys see, it's a clean pull. I probably put it a bit lower than I needed to, but I was overcompensating. Here you can see side by side, just a mechanical advantage to the right to the left. By shooting my head up like that, I'm forcing myself to overextend and wasting precious effort. All right, here's our first weak point. So number one was safety bar squats. So these are really good because they're gonna force you to keep you upright. We actually used the wrong bar because it's our first time ever trying these. We use the low bar ones, we kind of defied our own purpose. You guys get the point. So for these, these are really good if you have a back caving issue. This is one of my weak spots and something I'm very happy to work on. I tend to lean forward a lot when I struggle, as you guys saw with my 540, the failure there. So I really want to work on this and this is something I intend to keep working on. Another really good thing about this is uh, we're performing them beltless and we're just trying to keep our um, posterior chain very tight as long with our core. We're trying to just make sure we're in control of everything and we're still used to that without the comfort and the pressure of the belt. This really forces us to be perfect with our breathing as well. Now for Kyle, the reason we have him doing these especially is now as a low, as a low bar squatter, He's a bit more awkward high bar, I'd say. Low bar, he looks incredible. I'm a very awkward low bar squatter. So by putting him in this lift, it's really gonna hack away with his discomfort with this. So you guys see he's got a bit of a balance issue and it's something he's looking to work on and then putting him in this uncomfortable position with the bar is forcing him to work on it even more. All right, now for a second weak point exercise, we got hit for us. I hate these, but I need to do them and that's the whole point. Conjugate is to do your weak spots. All right, so these are the BB hit for us, the baby hit for us, not the barbell ones because my glutes suck. Kyle's got pretty strong glutes all in all but he still wants them to be stronger. He's banging two plates pretty easy. If you watch me I actually have a good struggle especially considering our strength difference. It's pretty sad and it's something I'm going to be doing every week. Every max effort I believe it's going to always be my second week, uh, week point. I'm going to play around with rep schemes and variations but it needs to be done. That's dedication, baby. We got that sweat going. Let's go. So these are the free machine hamstring curls. This is patented. It moves upwards, downwards, and side to side. So it's a little more free moving version of the machine, whereas you're not locked into place. You want to make sure you got your torso upright and you're getting a very good contraction. My hamstrings are also very weak, so it's something I am looking to improve as is Kyle. We're very lucky that we can sync up with our weak spots. to rip some box jumps because we find them fun. Um, we like to do a bit more than just the powerlifting and that's why this is our modded version of the program is it's a lot more than just the powerlifting focus. We were trying to focus on being overall athletes as well as being strong, being very aesthetically minded and we're trying to combine everything into one which is very hard. A lot of people are probably going to dislike that we're doing this but we definitely think it can be done. It's how we've always trained and we believe it's something that is very achievable and that it's something that all of you guys can do and if you want to try it uh, just once again, be sure to send us your send us an email or join our newsletter on the website. We will be sending out everything on the first of next month, so the first of May. Conjugate is supposed to be interpersonal, and this is tailored to us. But if you guys are looking, you're kind of intermediate to advanced. Try it out. I'm sure you'll like it, and I'm sure it will help you. If you've done a lot of linear training, this is something probably for your next step. I think this is like close to our last year. Yeah. 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 You got it. You just added one? Yeah, that's it. This is all mental, baby. All right, keep it going. Go right there. 
commit. Here we go. So. Oh yeah. What's that? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> yeah, I'm barely one more. Hey. Alright. Bring that to air at three o'clock. So stay tuned. Uh, it's like, like today. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll link it in our video. Yeah. Do it up. We'll <laughs>